What's up guys, Kalma here and we are back in our pure chaos. 20 minute game days, horde every night, rambling man playthrough. Our goal is 100 days surviving. Let's see if we can do it. So in video one, we did clear this house. We got quite a few stuff. We got a lot of, a lot of great loot early on. And I can still hear some people downstairs. So let's go ahead and load up our weapons. Because we need to get out of here and go ahead and go to a new POI. Oh, there's a weapons bag I missed right there too. Because as the Ramble Man states, we can only stay in a POI one day. Check this weapons bag. Alright, so we'll take the ammo. Let's just take this crossbow. We'll take the crossbow bolts and we'll kind of see how they go. So this has 31. Alright, so this crossbow is better. Scrap that. Junk is going to come in handy a lot for Horde Knights. It'll save us quite a bit of uh, ammo by not having to actually consume any of our actual bullets. But we'll kind of see how it goes. I don't know if it's something we really want to keep on our action bar, though. Alright, let's get out of here. I, I hear a bunch of them. I'm just checking for some eggs. I'm not really too interested. You know what? I'm gonna go and take some feathers too. Alright, if she's one lady, let's go and pop her in the head. Easy enough. Alright, so one thing I'm gonna try to do and remember is each time we stay in a building, we're gonna mark it on the map. So this was day one. So that way we can always remember which ones we've done, which ones we haven't. Alright, so I wanna go to another quick and easy POI that's that's relatively small so what is this a junkyard it's not the smallest one there is but it should be pretty quick let's go and get up here some spikes we don't want to jump on all right let's just get in here we don't have too much time so let's go ahead and clear this place out see if there's anybody around Hey, wake up. Okay. Some shotgun shells. I'm not complaining about that. We don't have a shotgun yet, but I would expect we'd find one pretty soon. Ooh, there's a cooking pot right there, too. Nice. Now we can actually, if we get a point, we can go into Master Chef if we really want to. We have some food. Now, we may not even need to, right? We may find enough actual food throughout this gameplay that we don't need to make anything. But we'll kind of play that by ear as we're going through. All right, because we are going to have to start keeping an eye out for some iron for our for our junk turret. Go and turn that in some ammo. Take that. We'll scrap the other two cooking pots. Scrap that. We'll take that for some duct tape eventually. We don't need the gas. We'll learn it. We'll take the wood. Alright, here's somebody. Let's we'll scrap that. We'll take this. Now, I don't have a uh, recipe to make Molotov cocktails yet, which I would like eventually, but I'm not going to hold on the, the oil just for that one-off chance that we happen to find it this early on in the game. Take this for the iron. This should give us quite a bit of, a little bit of iron too. We'll, we'll go ahead and get rid of the rest of the stuff. All right, easy enough. All right, can we scrap this? Okay, we can't scrap that for iron. All right, you know what? One thing I did forget that we may have to remember is there's a, a destroyed workbench inside that last house we were just at. So, we probably want to go back to now that we have a wrench and take that apart to go ahead and get the forged iron out of it. But we'll see what we can get out of this too. I don't remember if this gives us just forged steel or if it gives us forged iron also. Alright, so it did give us one forged iron. Way too much. Take care of this guy. Alright, easy enough. What you got in here for me? 
All right, so let's go ahead and turn this two glue that we do have into some duct tape. Just another cooking pot, which is some iron if we need it. All right, uh, ooh, that's so good. That's so good. Three duct tapes. Cooking pot. And any more lock picks or anything? I mean, I would literally like to find some lock picks really soon. Because that will actually allow us to uh, get in, into these safes as we find them and not have to rely on simply just finding ones that are already unlocked. Alright, so it looks like we got a little line of people here, so. We'll take them out one at a time. I just saw a big mama, didn't I? Where'd she go? There she is. Alright, what do we have that we can get rid of? Let's scrap that. Yep, alright, let's go and scrap the handlebars, scrap the short arm pipe. Now we're back to one encumbered. Let's see if we can take care of these guys real fast. Alright, it'll take him a minute to get through there. Let's just try to see what we can do as we work our way inside. Ooh. Okay, another head. Another head comes popping off. Alright, so did he come off the roof too? Yeah, I believe it was a cowboy that was uh that was beaten on from the inside. So how the hell do I even get in this place then? Did I just break through a window? Oh! The cowboy looks like the cowboy made it through maybe? Yep. I'm just going to take care of him. We're already we're pretty low on stamina at the time, so. Get through here. Alright, so here's a, uh, somebody kind of creeping over here in the corner. See if we can't take care of her with a quick sneak headshot. And she's down. Oh, there's another level too. Alright, so we'll take care of this. Get at least, you know, some more forged iron is going to be helpful. And there's another workbench over there that we can take apart to get a little bit more forged iron. Small chance to run. Okay, we're not going to do a lot of mining. We'll take it. This could be, this is going to be very useful. Because we already have aloe cream. Oh, baby. Let's go and make six of them. That's actually very good. That's a very good find. Ooh, there's a working workbench, too. All right. Uh, how many duct tapes do we have now? Let's go ahead and... All right, I want to make two of these. I can't. I don't have enough cloth. All right, so we need a little more cloth fragments. And it's coming up on Horde Night again. It's getting really close. All right, let's get upstairs, make sure this place is empty. Get on the roof and kind of see what we can do from there. You know what? I lied. Sorry, I lied. Fuck it, there's cloth in this thing. Cloth and iron, both of which we absolutely need. We'll going to make our second one of those. And we will put this on our... We'll put on the BDU pants for now. It gives us one more slot. And then the second one that we're making now will give us another slot. So we should be totally unencumbered as soon as that, that second one is completed. Let's get through here. All right, looks like it just finished up. So we'll put this on our plant fiber shirt. And yeah, good. Now we are totally unencumbered. We got two hours before Horde Night. Check for vultures. Right, is there anything up here? Oh, there's a stairway to something. This is just the main office. Take that. Take the water. Is this more cloth? It is. So we'll go ahead and take that cloth because we just use all of ours to make the um, those pocket pocket storage mods. Check the desks. That's good. That's good. That, that's some strength right there. Let's grab that. Vending machine. Alright, so maybe we should actually start keeping some dukes on us. So if we do find vending machines, we if we need to buy anything, we can. Okay, so it looks like the there's two ways that they can get to us up on the roof. So I'm thinking we can do is let's block this off. Upgrade it one time. And then we can block this off also. Because these are what, concrete? Yeah. We're obviously not going to get through that. 
So let's block this off. Upgrade it to our level 2 wood. Okay. Now, if I'm not mistaken, if they do decide to come for us, they should come through this way. This is probably the easiest path for them to get to us. Yeah, okay. Yep, see, there's one already. Let's go in. That's the wrong button. Pair this. Alright, let's just, uh... Actually, a lot more than I was anticipating. Yeah, compared to last night, that's actually quite a bit more than I was anticipating. Alright, repair that. I hear some people running, so we're going to scrap this. Alright, we do have some points, so let's go ahead and put another one. Let's put one into a sexual Tyrannosaurus. Okay. Interesting. Can I get that? Let's go check over here. Okay. I don't hear anything beating on that, at least. Alright, so we have another point still. I think we should go straight back into Lucky Looter. Yeah, so let's go ahead and put another point in Lucky Looter. So another one in Perception, the next point will go actually into Lucky Looter itself. Drop our crossbow back down, get unencumbered. Alright, we'll go ahead and take this and make a junk turret ammo out of it, considering it's not doing us any good having a junk turret with no ammo. Alright, so the bones I'm not going to carry anymore. That's a, uh, a loud noise. While they're not here, let's go and check this, see if there's any eggs. Oh, it's a crawler. Alright, how can I actually deal with this guy? Put a frame here. Ooh. Alright, so, let's take care of this guy. Did that actually hit him? I don't even know. I don't think it is. I think I think we're just actually killing Karen, right? Okay, no, we did get him. Oh, we can search that loot, too. Okay, we'll take that. Let's go and eat this. Alright, and I would expect that to pretty much be the end of this Horde Night. Alright, it is only day two. I'm actually going to go ahead and scrap those cooking pots. If, I'm sure we'll find plenty of cooking pots as we go through this. Okay, so we can make another storage Pokemon, so let's just go ahead and do it. That way we'll have it on us for as soon as we are going to need it. When we find our uh, whatever jacket, overcoat type situation that we do find. Get our junk turret loaded up in case we're going to need it. Change this there. Make sure we're reloaded. Alright, yeah, so I think that's going to do it for this Horde Knight. Doesn't seem like there's too much anything else. Is there anything up on the roof here? Well, we have a few minutes. No, it looks pretty. It looks pretty wide open. Doesn't really look like there's anything here. All right, guys. So I'm gonna keep recording, but I'm pretty sure this is the end of the episode. So that is day two completed of our pure chaos horde every night 20 minute game days. I hope you're enjoying this series. If you are, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace! If you're liking these videos, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. It really does help. Thank you all so much. I will catch you in the next one. Peace!